Hello, people of Westport. This is the January 23rd meeting of the Westport Landing Commission. My name is Jeff Bull. With us today on my left is Sue Brayton and Wendy Henderson. Our other active member, Richie Earl, is out of town until next month. And there are supposed to be five of us. We had someone resign. So if anybody wants to be on the Landing Commission without going to an election, you should let the Board of Selectmen know and they will appoint you to sit up here and have fun the way we're going to have fun today. <laughs> so number one on our agenda is GZA Hicksbridge Landing Update. We seem to be ready to go to have a meeting with the public. I've spoken with our town planner who's willing to help out organize that meeting. We decided January was too early. So I don't think we can really set a date today, but my sense is to publish the plan as it's written, as a prototype draft plan, and invite the public and I guess have a meeting probably, I think, in this room would be big enough. I don't think we need to do the library. Yeah, I think it would work. Um, yeah. And if suddenly there's a lot of people show up, then we can have a second meeting or something. And then we'll see how the first meeting goes, see if we need a second meeting or not. So I'm not sure we need to vote on that, or can you, do you have times when you're gonna be traveling in the month of February? Nope. Except for Tuesdays are generally bad. I'm sorry, what? Except Tuesdays, Tuesdays are generally bad. Okay. Uh, not on a Tuesday. How about you? And my sense is, to be fair to the public, it should be an evening meeting so that if people are working people, they can be here. Mm -hmm. So, I agree. what do you think? Like 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock? Six o'clock is usually good, I think. That's that's it's the general enough. time a lot of the meetings are. The different <coughs> other departments will meet around six. Okay. Or comp compromise, go six thirty. I don't care. So, hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> and I guess no hors d'oeuvres. No, I don't think that's required. Okay. So people just have to eat beforehand. All right, I will work on that and. Set, find, find some available times and I will double check with you at the last minute and then pick one of them. All right? Fine with me. Okay. Um, I still have to follow through with the Masons. So I'll put that number two on my list. They still have not responded. Uh, moving on to number two. So the Masons haven't responded about a lease? An easement. An easement? Yeah. There's the options are for them to grant us an easement to use their property to exit. They have an easement for the house that's just south of the landing that exits between the winery onto their property to leave. So it would be a similar easement that we would draw and pay for. Or they may choose to just have us buy it from them. We'll see what they want to do. <clears throat> they haven't, so that hasn't gotten any further, but they're willing to negotiate. Well, they haven't been. Huh. So we dare go ahead with the plan before we. Yeah, because if, if we ha I've spoken with Jim Hartnett about it. If we have to, you know what I mean? I I don't think that group has been particularly active lately. I think yep. that might be part of the problem. Yep. Yep. Well, you know, uh, if necessary, but we're hoping not to go that direction. Head Landing was going to get a railing as part of our Eagle Scout project. And 
he hasn't reported in a while, so I pursued him, and he very politely wrote me back and apologized and said it had become too big an expense, too much for him, and he's not going to do a railing for us. Okay. So we ought to be thinking about a railing. <clears throat> I don't have enormous amounts of time right now to think about it. We've survived without one. I think I will probably reach out again to Tony Millam, who's a metal worker, mm -hmm. about how crazy an idea it is and how big a deal it would be to hire him or whether he wants to, if we were just, if we got the money to get the galvanized pipe or whatever. So we can take that up at a future meeting. Okay. Any questions? Moving along. Head landing. There had been some talk about geese and mowing changes. And I thought it was somebody from the watershed who had ideas about that. I don't know who would really be that knowledgeable about what would, whether those grasses that are along, because their thought was if we left sections of the grass that's right along the walls unmowed, it would grow up and it would somehow be, use more of the water so it would be less mushy, but then you can't walk on it. So I didn't jump right in and say, okay, yeah, let's not mow it because there's not that many park areas that we can use. The part of the idea was the geese might not poop on it that much, but people, but then they're going to poop on the rest of it. Right. So I don't have an answer about whether that's a good idea or not. People have any feelings about whether we should be directing the highway department to mow less or, I don't know how the tick situation would change. Well, if you can't walk in it, you won't get ticks from it, but... <laughs> but, but people will walk on it. If it does get a vent, in other words, if we let it come up this high before mowing it... Oh, oh I thought only, you were thinking like three or three or three and a half feet high or something. Yeah, but I can't imagine that some of that stuff would... Grow. I don't know what the grasses are that are left there. I don't see excavating and planting species. Yeah. Mm. Um, also, the wall's got to get... Finish the guys that can finish yeah. you know, drinking it, and um, so that might as well happen before we would do anything because that'll mess it up a little bit. All right, number three, rechink the wall. See if I can find him. Do you remember that guy's name? No, but it's probably in some old minutes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Uh, moving right through this agenda, item four. So we do do something new. We had talked about putting just a bench on the west side of Hicksbridge, whether we can get the selectmen to allow us to open up parking there or not. Let me think about that. Seems like I, I like the idea of at least opening that up as a resource. I was going to say, I think it would be nice. I don't know. I think you need some parking. You know, there's. People would have to park at the landing or bicycle to it. Right, that's, that was my thought, yeah, it's, it's a bicycling tour, it's the only thing that's safe, I think. I mean, I pulled off there to look at something a couple months ago, and um, I mean, I could see, I was careful to pull out, but it's not a great place for... It is not, parking. but at the same time, I'm aware that those kind of situations exist all over town. Mm. I'm like over close to... Adamsville, where that the towing guy is, all of his parking, a lot of his parking is just funky and right on the road, and it's a winding oh, turn right there. That's an interesting place he has to pull out of. Right, <laughs> that, that sort of thing exists all over the place. Right next door is the Grace Breast Mill, the right the um, coffee, coffee place shop. Now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I know that. And directly across from that is the and, and people there are actually backing out into the road. Mm. At least what we would do would be parallel parking, which mm. is inherently safer. Mm. 
but at least I would like to continue with the idea of at least a, a picnic bench and people could bike to it or however they get to it. If it ends up not being used. Well, if it's never used and it, we can or people may, move it somewhere else. Yeah, in the or people future. may, you know, purchase a permit and, and. I think it's purchase a permit. Yeah. And, yeah. Just park across you know, drop people off for a picnic and mm -hmm. it's just a nice resource. It's a beautiful place to have lunch. Yeah. And we, the town pays to mow it. Why aren't we using yeah. it? How often do they mow that? Regularly. And they park there. They've never been hit, but I, you know, it's different when you're pulling a trailer with a pickup truck and yeah. stuff. All right, I will continue. The benches that are at the head, those seem pretty durable. People okay yeah. with just doing that again? Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, the benches at the head, they didn't float away, but they had all the persuasion that they needed. It was, I have a picture of the seats. You can see the top slat of the bench. Oh really? Wow. One just to the north of the uh, landing. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, it was, <coughs> it was high tides. Number five on our agenda. Most of the Landing Commission, this is to the general public out there, is actually an elected position. We are not paid except for being so much fun to come here. And watch the fellow who's smiling as he tapes us. Oh, and we're getting another smile out of Mr. Resendez. So, and we will have at least some seats up for election. There'll be three of them this year. <clears throat> including mine, and it would be nice to have some new, younger people come along. So if any of you want to be a landing commissioner, speak to the registrar or the town clerk. It's pretty easy. Or come to a meeting and find out what we do here. Around that, there's also been a talk at some point so the public knows about potentially consolidating responsibility with other groups like the Beach Committee, which we will continue to pursue the possibility since there are some shared responsibilities like Hicksbridge and the other accesses to water. Item six, an administrative assistant. I haven't followed up on that. Feels to me like we're kind of doing okay right now. Mm. How do other people feel? Yep, I think so. I, um, it could be different if we end up having responsibilities for the construction at the landing, but you know, I think I, don't think that's I think the planning board right. is sort of the planning department has, has agreed because they've got three people over there, and that's what they do. Okay. That they're going to like step up into that role. Good. Yeah. And so that's at least... They work on the funding and... All those things. Yeah. Yeah. And we're at least a year or two away, if not five. Yeah. However, coming up this spring is renegotiating yeah, our leases. Those should go out soon. Because they do. They should. So let's... I will get copies of them to you to think about and we can make some decisions at next meeting about what we think is a reasonable price. Sounds good. I have not heard from our highest paying tenant about whether she's still interested in a five year lease rather than a year to year lease. But I know there was some interest on this commission in looking part of the amounts and thinking about is this fair right. to the town. <clears throat> and it's tricky because certainly for the kayak shop, even though it's a year round lease, it's not property they use. They don't have running water, etc. cetera. Uh, do we have any past minutes tonight? Um, I sent the September minutes shortly before the October meeting, but I have different copies of them. Um, I am remembering that I actually sort of took a lot of notes last time and sort of thought I'd write minutes, and 
like yeah, a lot of things I sort of think about doing, I did not do it. Is that one I was going to say, I think this one's got some notes. Oh, it's got my notes with it. I should keep that one then. And this is the other one then. Okay, so this one we can't do because it appears that Sue Brayton was not here. You're right. So do we have Wait, one other than you? September 26th? Um, I don't. The only one I think that I owe is um, April, that I was, the meeting that I was at is April. So I don't know what happened. Did you meet in October, November? Well, it's okay if you don't have us to approve today. Well, I, I wasn't here. For no, I'm not saying you should. Make I'm yeah. not saying you should. It, no, it was on me to make something up because I was here. Okay. So, so when did you? What, when other? What other meetings did you have? Uh, well, I'd have to look at my phone. I'd have to, yeah. Tell you that. Uh, We had meetings on November 14th, October 17th, September 26th, June 20th. Okay, this, yeah, we've got the September one. So November and October are missing minutes. Yeah. And I, I owe for April still. And I think the other ones that I've done have been approved. Good. Okay. All right. Uh, other business not anticipated at the time of posting. Oh, I know. There was something. East Beach. Oh, East Beach. So the public will know the Land Commission owns property on the north side of East Beach Road. And it has been somewhat cleared. You can sort of park there. I would be careful if you're driving a Maserati, but it's low lying because there is some rubble on the road. Do you have any sense of whether we need to be weighing in at all as property owners on what's going to happen? I don't know how they're going to figure out who gets their rocks back or not. I have no idea what they're going to be doing down there. And yeah, I, I don't think, think a lot's going to depend. I don't think they need us in the muddle. <laughs> no, I think it's. It's more on the other side of the south side of the road there that's Right. I just didn't know issue. if you felt like we ought to be weighing in with any kind of weight or whether it's better to just stay out of the mess because... Yeah. We want our own rocks, but everybody else's rocks, the town needs to settle up with. It is an interesting them. dynamic because typically if land naturally gets filled by a storm, I think in Massachusetts, it's still not yours. The public can use it because it's over Commonwealth water that it happened. But it's not clear if natural takes away that you can pursue your sand that washed down the road onto public property. It is, I know in Hawaii, when there's a volcano and there's lava, there's more land. But it's unclear who that it does not necessarily belong to the person who's, whose land that's attached to. They can use it, but so can everybody else. So well, well, the, why is that way about all, all waterfront? Right. Is everyone. The interesting thing too down there is a lot of these beach lots <laughs> extended on both sides a lot further out at one point. Mm -hmm. Right. On so both sides, you mean? Both sides of the road. So okay. towards the let, they okay. were deeper into the let, and on the ocean side, they were deeper into the ocean. So if it fill, naturally fills in an area that's, I would assume, on either side, that's it within the deeded boundary. It's still theirs, but they can't do anything with it because it's underwater. Right. But this, you could still survey it and show where the piece of land is and or was. How, how tall you have to be to keep your mouth above water. Right. Go snorkel on your property. Yeah. All right. Stay out of that one. Next yeah. meeting date. 
I'm really curious, so where did the town take the stones? Well, I know a bunch of them, and this was great that this happened. Our landing across from the life saving station keeps washing out because just east of that, the water washes off the road and washes off that our parking lot and gullies and goes and serious I've got video of it. And and somebody lost a beach lot there eight years ago and tried to rebuild when we fixed our parking lot and they said, No, you can't just rebuild. And so they took a lot of those rocks from further down the road, not that far down the road, and brought them and have probably put three feet of stone on the side of the road <clears throat> across from the life saving station, not on our parking lot. So that was a good use for it because <clears throat> that had washed out even further in the first storm. Uh, and I, apparently they may have taken some back to the highway department. I mean, I kind of agree they should stay in that immediate vicinity. I mean, clear the road and just push them to the side. Well, I think but that's what they've done the second time. But I then, think that, yeah. But who's going to pay? The and how are they going to, how's the associate, how are property owners going to pool money and figure out who's going to hire a machine and how much are you going to let them have? It's going to be, I don't know how that's going to get settled. Mm -hmm. There is still a sign at the town beach saying removing rocks is against the law. Fifty dollar fine. I took a picture of it. Well they didn't take them off the beach. They only took them off the roadway. Right, no I'm saying if someone <laughs> wants to come and get if someone wants to come and get their the rocks, rocks back, back they can can't someone get say right. you wait, no that's on the beach now. Yeah. It's like ooh. Um Alrighty, next meeting date. Why don't we set a date, but we won't be for sure depending on whether we need to have a short powwow before the public meeting. We probably do, even if it's just an hour before, unless there's information we need to gather. So I could post that when it's a different meeting, but as far as getting something scheduled now, because what you're telling me is Tuesdays are bad for you generally. So, can we? Go, are there other days of the week that are okay for you? Doesn't matter. Oh, so how about if we go to Wednesdays? That's fine. So, shall we say for the moment Wednesday the twenty-first? Does that work for people? It works for me. Okay. At, and does four o'clock work for people? I was going to say four o'clock, four, four thirty, okay. whatever works. Okay, four o'clock it is. And I will write myself now a note to post that a week beforehand. So I don't forget. Post landing commission meeting. It, but if we end up scheduling the public meeting before that, we'll just meet shortly before the public meeting? And I will confirm what's a workable time for you before that. And then we'll get the plan out with some little text description before that. And I think, should we try to get it in more than the shorelines? Does Fall River? I don't, I'm sorry, I don't. I'm not a regular reader of the yeah. New Bedford or Fall River paper. Yeah. I was going to say at this point, <clears throat> I don't know what they have for online subscribers. I don't think there's many people that read the paper itself anymore. Who? The Either any, <laughs> any, of the, any of the local papers. So we should actually try to get something on the front page of the, and isn't there like a scroller thing that people look at? Oh, that Mr. Resendez knows about. On the um, website, the town's town website? website? Yeah, the scroller. I don't touch that. No. Yeah, I'm not familiar with the town website.
but I mean, but there used to be something on, on public TV, TV that said greatest hits coming up. So we can do that. Yeah, that's my department. Oh, okay. You can post whatever you want. And I mean, it's always striking to me that people actually watch these meetings, and they tell me, "Oh, yeah, I know you from TV." Yeah. So, yeah. How do I do? <laughs> All right. So we'll get it on the scroller. We'll get it on the town website. We'll get it in the shorelines. Yeah. And see who shows up. It's probably the best choice right there. Yeah. And I will also be in touch with Chris Leonard and try to get him to show up and have him encourage some people to show up who are fishing people. And I was going to say, is there really a fishermen's association anymore that we could send it, email it to I think they, their I think my or? sense is that I don't know if, if he has the ability to reach out to people through email or not, but I, I mean, I want to hear from them. Right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I definitely want to hear before, not after. Yeah. Well, hopefully, mm -hmm. not after. Right. All right. So, we will have one vote at this meeting, and that is to motion to adjourn. Second. Is there any discussion from anyone out there? Sorry, it was late. Hearing none, but still getting a smile out of Mr. Resendez. All in favor? Aye. 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 We are adjourned.